today's session we are going to learn means uh, what are the uh, permission permission level and how the uh, permissions are managed in a sub site okay so yesterday we checked that and we saw that there is a hotel site and we uh, restrict the permission for sham on the hotel site okay so uh, and sham is able to access the particular uh, specific Mm, a specific site I mean specific folder not this document folder we have restricted Sham's permission on this document library so I will show you what we did yesterday we stopped the inherit permission so I'll go here library settings and here we navigate in the permission for this document library and in this document library we have uh, set the unique permission now here you can see delete unique permission is written means this uh, site having unique permission if you click the delete unit permission again it will start inheriting permission from parent okay so here you can see the clearly message shown here this library has a unique permission means we have set our own permission on this library okay so up to this you understand means what I, I want to tell you that where we are we learn the permission up to the library or file level, okay uh, sorry library and list now moving ahead if we drill down we come down so where is that image so uh, we come down below the list and library there are the items are there there are different items are there so if i want to give the user permission on a specific item as of now we have restricted the permission to the specific document library or list okay so up to this we understand up to this level or this level we understand that is how we restrict the permission okay library or list level how we say uh, we say list list permission in library library permissions okay but sometimes what happens I have there are multiple items there is one atom there is a three atoms many atoms are there but on specific atoms I want to grant the permission to that person but I don't want to give the permission on the remaining atom or remaining files to that person so how you can do that so I'll go back here okay moving back in our hotel site and I will open uh, this site in IE Internet Explorer okay so in Internet Explorer I will open the site with the sham account and Sham is having uh, the member of the site. Okay, is the member? He is. Ha he don't have any uh, additional right. He is just a member. Okay. So I open the with the Sham. Okay. So I have opened the site with the Sham's credential. You can see the Sham is a log name user here. If you click here. Just a minute. Okay, Sham is a login user here. Now, now as you can uh, see here, document is not visible to the Sham because we stopped the permission on the document and we have removed the uh, member from the document. So, if I check now, Raju is the admin user. Okay, Raju is whenever we redirect um, to the uh, Chrome uh, browser, then uh, we are logging in with the site collection admin site collection admin having full right so here now what I'm doing I will check the uh, check the permission so how I can check library then list setting I'm checking the list permissions here and on this hotel list so I check the permission I check the permission for sham here we have delete, uh, inherited the permission and I say sham okay so sham what is the permission given to the sham here sham is having read permission from visitor group okay sham having read group and also same time I will go into documents okay and I will show you the permission given to the sham on document library there is no permission given to the sham okay so what I do I will go here library setting and permission in this document library okay so here uh, the visitor group is not exist here that's why the user is not getting the 
permission you but but because this document library contain some secure information this document library contain some secure information so the requirement is that sham can access this a class list bu class list bu but sham should not access this and any more documents say consider i will uh, upload one uh, file here and i will say that financial secure dap uh, financial account file let me open this or you can directly drag and drop here file has been created here let, let me uh, rename the file here Okay, so we're in here. Okay, so this is a financial file. So what is the expectation? Sham can do this only this class list file. Okay, so class list file. This is a text file, and this uh, uh, file so required the access. Say, um, public, public file. Okay. So this is a public file and the uh, uh, user will give the access to anyone on this file. But this is a financial is a secure file. Any, anyone can, means nobody can access this file. There is a restricted permission on this side. But, but in this document library, in this document library. So what I suggest, if this is also restricted, this is also restricted. But I want to grant the permission on public file to the shark. But as of now, if you go here, if you go here. There is no access given to the sham. Okay, there is no access given to the sham. Sham is not able to view the document library. Okay, here is the document. Don't have sham. Don't have access. Even though you go inside content and check that uh, sham don't have any kind of access on the document library. So what I do, I will, even though I will copy, even though you check this, copy this URL and paste in a sham, paste in here. Okay. Okay. Even though you click here, you can directly try to access the document library. See, it giving us the access denied error. But still, what are my expectation? Sham required the access on this. Sham required access. So here, Sham required access on a public file in a documents. Okay. So how he can access the file? So share with document documents now. Now what I do, I will click here and quickly, see, even though you can directly share or you can manage the permissions from here, manage access here, you can see here, you can click here advance also, see here, advance, if you go in advance, now see, now where I am, you can see the public file permission, you can see the public file permission. Here the permissions are inherited from his parent. Permissions are inherited from parent. Okay. Who is the parent? Who is the parent? Now please try to understand that. Again, I will go to the image. As of now, as of now, where we are, we have given the permission site. He is a visitor, Sham is a visitor. Okay. So that and all the permission are inherited here. But this permission are break in a document library. These permissions are a break. As I have shown you for a document library, permissions are break. Again, I will show you how we are, we are set the unique permission in this document library and we are here, here permissions, what is saying, stop inheriting and manage, sorry, uh, here, manage parent permission. So, this document library inherit the permission from his parent, okay. This document library inherit the permission from his parent, let me, permission, okay, here, this, this is the file, okay. Here we are in document library, this is library uses has a unique permission okay so what happening this this is a file in a document library 
e5 say manage parents where it will direct c it will redirect to his parent and who is the parent that document library that document library see that is same same here also i have open document permission same same document library again i will go back okay again i will go back to the public file the, this is a file please try to understand initially initially what happened we have site okay we have site and here different groups are there there are different groups group group there are three groups and here i have i have one uh, document library one document library okay and here i said stop in writing the permission in the document library so the permissions are stop okay i have set my unique permission i said okay this is my unique permission okay so i have not in writing the parent again what i did i have added one file here so file there is one document uh, file is here but this file this file is read the permission from this document okay but but what happening what happening what i need to do there are many documents in this document library there are many documents in this library and on documents in writing the permission from this parent document library see this is here then all the permissions are included as it is okay from his document library but the thing is that i want to give the access public i want to restrict the access on this file this file but this file will accessible to the sham but sham cannot see this file because these are restricted but sham can access this file but here we have stopped the permission from parent but who is the parent of this this document library are the library is the, is the parent for this okay so again i will go back here here we are and here where we are we here we can see the public file means we are in the public file that particular file permission now here i can say stop and read the permission here who is the parent document this document this the parent of this document is the library so here what i am saying stop in reading permission if i check the sham permission here what permission given to the sham here okay here none okay there is a no permission given to the sham so what i do but for other files also for other files also same permission needed so here what i am doing i say stop in reading permission i say here at, at where are you i am at a file level i am at a file level and here i am saying stop in reading now i will say grant permission here now i will say now i am at a file level i have stopped the permission see here you can see this document has a unique permission okay this document has a unique permission there is no parent associated with this now now see again here people are waiting for your approval because yesterday we have added one uh, sneha that's why it's showing no problem so here uh, uh, what i do i want to give the sham as a edit access on that sham as a edit access on that so i just uh, click on that and add sham here okay sham share me already this file shared with this many people shared with sham we are going to add the sham here now share okay now sham sham added here now i have added the sham now again i will go back here okay i will click here i i open that particular site and check that what is the access on the document you can see the document is visible now but what is our what we want i want the specific sham can access only that public document just a minute i'm taking from maybe to this so so if i click on document see here here you can see you can see i have given the permission on sham on a public file but sham is able to access all the file why why this so again i will go back what is the issue why the sham having access on all the file again go back okay so what happening i have added sham in the members i have added in sham in the members if i go here i am in a document permission it's a parent and if i go here in the group check here sham is there is what mistake i did i have added the sham in this group even though i have said stop inheriting the permission 
but I have I am referring same group I am referring same group so in this case means if you are using the same group then even though you are adding the uh, sharp at any place in any subset or anywhere or any uh, location then the person will get added in that specific group so so what I do here just now I'll say grant permission okay now what I'm saying I directly say grant permission I'm not going to click here and grant I directly say here grant permission okay no. what edit or what kind of permission I'll say edit okay. I'm in a that particular specific file okay shared with the sham now I will remove sham from I remove shampoo. I can go back. So now, see here, I have given sham as a edit access and I have removed sham from this group because I have added the sham in this group that's why sham get access everywhere where this group is used okay now again I will go back here I click here home okay again check that here documents are there okay so I click on the documents now you can see sham having access on a specific site sham cannot access the remaining financial and other documents here but those are in the same document library see if i open this same url here if i open the same url here because here is raju is logged in user that's why raju can see all the contents all the contents but sham Sham is able to see the particular specific file because what happened we have restricted the permission at a file level we have restricted permission at file level at atom level earlier what happening earlier what I did I have restricted a permission on a specific document level so Sham can see but Sham don't know this file contain all the documents also okay now now see again again I will go back here in this document library we have given the permission here on the specific file we have file level we drill down to the file level in this case so this is the <coughs> so this thing is called as means we give the permission here or at this atom level same way like a file we can receive the permission at a list atom level so this is in short this thing is called as the atom level permission so we call it as the atom level permission or file level this permission is called list level or document library level and here we have site level permission okay so you understand that means how we can So guys, uh, any question on...